Today we're going to look at kerf compensation and see why it is very important when cutting CNC art. If this is the tool without kerf compensation, it cuts right on the line and it removes material that it's not supposed to. A good way to see the effect of that is to set the line width to the tool size. The gray is the material that's left over. If I set the outline to white and the fill to black, you can see that we get these ugly points everywhere and some places become so thin they'll either burn through or break off. It definitely will make your CNC art a lot uglier than it's supposed to be. Kerf compensation offsets the edge of the part half of the tool width to the outside. So that the edge of the tool follows the edge of the part and it does not remove too much material. The only drawback is that the tool may not reach into narrow crevices and in some cases if a passage is too narrow the tool won't fit through there. The way to fix that would be to make the passage wider or scale the whole part larger. These crevices don't look so bad. If I make this outline the same width as the tool and fill that with black, you can see there's only a few spots where it doesn't cut all the way. And if I make that outline white and fill it with black, it doesn't look that bad. And it looks a whole lot better than no curve compensation. Especially where you have thin features like this, it comes out like 0.02 inches wide here. when it should be 0 0.08 at least. Obviously it is very important to use curve compensation properly if you want artwork to come out right. 